Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, I'll show you something very interesting, basically how to hide and show widgets in real time in Tikinter. So what we're going to do is create a few widgets and then we are going to pack them in or place them in or grid them in using one of the three layout managers and then we'll try to remove it from the UI, okay, but without destroying it, okay. This key term is without destroying it because I've already covered in previous videos how to use the destroy method on widgets and basically it's like this so if you create a widget like a button and just give it the parent self.master then give it some text okay like I'm a button and then you can just do button.pack okay and then you can do button.destroy but the problem is that this destroys the entire widget like it, it's completely gone and this is, well, a problem, okay? Because if you want to, for example, just hide a widget temporarily, like just remove it from the UI, like it can be created internally, but you just want to hide it temporarily. Imagine like a form, okay? You're creating a take inter form and you just want to collapse some widgets, for example, like you want the user to click a button, and just a few widgets just, just disappear for a bit until he clicks the button again, for example. So how do we do that? Well. That's what we're going to cover in today's video. So let's start off with this button. I've created it using um, pack. Okay, this is what is actually creating it, but this is what's actually putting it into the UI. Okay, pack is a layout manager You're responsible for placing it within the UI. So if I run this, let's just take a look at our button. Okay, there it is. All right. So what I'm going to do now, let me just give it some padding so it's not so at the top all right because i've defined a manual size 300 by 200 so that we can see everything clearly in today's video all right and i've connected this uh function over here to the enter key self dot toggle to the enter key so if i just click enter my enter key on my keyboard i can trigger this function and within this function we are now going to write the code to hide this button so let me just first do self.button so that we can access this button in a different method of the class. All right, so now I can do self.button and to hide it, we are going to do pack forget. And this basically, as, as the description says, it unmaps it, it removes it from the UI. So let's try this. I will press my enter key now and boom, there goes the button. Okay, it's gone. So uh, now let's show you something uh, something else interesting. Okay, because now that it's gone, okay, it's gone. But how do we how do we bring it back? Well, what we'll do is self dot button. We, we want to make this togg toggleable. So I w if I press the enter key again, I want the button to show to show up. Okay. So what I'll do is w info uh, w stands for window. So the one I'm looking for is viewable something. Viewable, yeah. Okay, now this tells us if the button is currently in the UI or not. Is it currently viewable by the user or not? So let me, let me just remove that. Okay, we, we don't need that anymore. So if the button is currently viewable, I want to remove it. Else, if not, which is what it, which is what it's going to be after we remove it. Um, like, let me just add some comments. So if currently in UI, okay, and if not in UI, all right, so what we'll do is self.button dot pack again, okay, and just pack it again with the same, uh, you know, with the same padding. So let's try this now. So I'll press enter. There, it's gone. Now I'm going to press enter again, and there, it's back. See? Pretty cool, right? Okay, but this was with the pack method, right? This is using the pack layout manager. Obviously, this isn't the, the only layout manager there is. There's also grid and place. So what about those two? Well, let's cover them right now. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go to grid, okay? Let's discuss grid. So you can do like row is equal to zero, column is equal to one. Uh, let's just go with zero and I will, just duplicate this a bit because a grid with only a single widget uh, doesn't feel very gritty. 
So let's just create a bunch of these. Okay, so I'll just give them some names. I don't want to overwrite the same thing. And yeah, they all have unique names now, these buttons of ours. So let's just make that nice, nice as well, the button text. All right, so now what we're going to do is just remove this and remove that. The rest of the code can remain the same. So let's, for example, say we want to remove button 2, the one in the middle. So what we'll do, I'll just update that too, button 2. OK, so button 2, if we want to remove it, OK, if currently in the UI, we want to remove it, right? So how do we remove it? Well, what we're, what we're going to do, we have two options, actually. With grid, we have two options. We can either use grid remove or we can use get, grid forget. Now, grid forget is basically going to forget everything about the button. It's going to forget its location. It's basically going to forget that it existed, OK, completely. It's still going to exist, technically, but it's going to be hidden, yes, but it's going to forget about its location within the grid. That's kind of like the key difference. And, you know, yeah. So let me just run this and see what this looks like. Okay, see, I just pressed Enter, okay, and it's gone. Okay, so if I click Enter again, it comes back over there. This is important to remember. So actually, it comes back over there. Uh, let me just put that in there. Sorry. All right. So I press enter. It's gone. I press enter. It, com it comes back over there. OK, in the middle, because I forgot to uh, put this. OK, I just did grid without, without any, any parameters. So what I'm going to do now is use grid remove. And I will remove this. OK, I'm going to remove the column in and row info. And then we'll see what happens. OK, I'm going to press enter. It's gone. I press enter again, it comes back. And I didn't have to mention the row and column. That's the unique th thing about uh, grid remove, is that it remembers where it was located. So you don't need to supply that information again. OK, that's the key difference. Uh, so that's why it's actually recommended to use grid remove, unless you have a good reason to use grid forget. OK, so that's it for grid uh, for the grid layout manager. Let's talk about place. I'm just going to undo some of these things that we did before and remove that remove that and now we'll put this in using place so um, this is going to be x is equal to let's pick something like 100 and y can also be 100 and now how do we hide a button or a widget to be more specific with uh, that's being placed using place so what we'll do is place forget. So it's a good thing that all of these have the same naming convention. It's very easy to remember. And if you want to put this back, then, well, you, you, gotta, you have to remember the coordinates. Okay. So, yeah. If I press enter, gone. If I press enter again, it's back. See? Pretty easy. So that's pretty much it. It wasn't a very hard concept to understand. Um, but this is a better approach to, you know, than using destroy. Because destroy, like, completely removes it. And but and that that'd be more like bad for several reasons. One, you could lose data that that entry widget contains, um, like its state. It could be a disabled button, for example. Then you destroy it; it's like gone completely, and it doesn't remember that state when it comes back. When you recreate it, it's gonna start again from default, right? Uh, another bad thing about it is that its performance is more performance heavy. So you want you if you hide a whole bunch of widgets and then you, if you hide them by destroying them, and then you recreate them, that's going to be more intensive, you know, having to recreate them completely. So, and there are many other problems, actually. Like, you destroy a widget, uh, anything that references that widget is going to become stale. Any references to it will become stale. So, like, so many l l reasons. I'm just l listing them off the top of, of my head. Um, but, yeah, so plenty of problems. So, this is obviously the approach you want to go for. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it.